For many years, communal conflict in Isoko land has been on the rise due to land disputes and other issues. This event holding at Ozoro in Isoko North local government area of Delta State is aimed at promoting intercommunal relationships in Isoko Nation through tolerance, restraints, and peaceful coexistence in the state. This summit was born out of the urgent necessity of building peace and security in our communities, particularly in places where we have grown lately and destruction of properties like the Bodo Highway, the Bide community, the Zora community, and the community and the Uzeri community. We have to be more tolerant ourselves because in every of these two towns, kingdoms, we are all interrelated by way of marriages and other forms. Fighting among ourselves between communities, within community, has become the pain of Isabula. Leaders at the event say the causes of these communal clashes are majorly due to land disputes, unfair disbursement of revenues that accrue to communities from oil companies and lots more. Public enlightenment and substantial levels of government by the state government and all the lead emergency professors who possess illegal to be never to surrender safety we fighting ourselves all over the place, over many parcels of land. Most of the land they are fighting for don't even have oil wells. They don't have gold, they don't have anything. No serious cash crop. So there's no basis for these fights. And I think that it's high time we come together to resolve this problem so that we can participate in the development process in the other states. The national chairman of Isoko Youth says it is working in line with government with the government to help develop the people. His own usual way, he told us that he will want to partner with the Isoko youth in training some of them in the area of oil and gas. Yesterday, I went to that meeting with an already prepared proposal. And after my presentation, I hand over the uh, proposal to him. And he was very happy and very pleased with what we, the Isoko youth, we are doing. And he reassured us that that proposal is going to be looked into. What am I trying to say, in essence, is this. We have a youth-friendly governor. We have a governor who listens to the youth. I believe once the governor approves this, most of most of our youth will be taken off from the streets. Governor Yifai Nokowa of Delta State is calling on communities embroiled in boundary disputes leading to loss of lives and property to embrace peace to pave way for meaningful development. What is happening here is, uh, is unique and it's something that should be encouraged in all ramifications. Uh, for the fact that uh, the Isoko youths have been able to sit back and put themselves together to come up and begin to engage themselves, begin to talk to themselves, the need for peaceful coexistence, the need to encourage peace, and the need to support the government in uh, uh, driving uh, the development efforts of His Excellency. That is something that every worthwhile individual should give all the support that he needs. We are telling them that we should embrace peace. At this material time, we can't afford killing ourselves, to be killing our brothers and our sisters. The only way, the only way, the only roadmap to, to a sustainable development it is when we maintain peace in our various communities. Jemima Boloko, Arise News, Delta.